What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to another episode of my career mode series and there's breaking news. It's not so breaking. Barisha is in talks and Matt Jilks, the keeper, was wondering if I could take a look at his contract and that is something that I'm a bit reluctant to do as uh, I don't know how interested I am in a 30-year-old keeper that seemingly is at the peak of his career right now. Is he really going to help us moving forward? And he's, you know that he's going to want to sign a bigger and better contract, and that's just not something that I think is going to benefit the club from a business standpoint moving forward. And Alex Baptista, again, seems like he thinks he's got a good relationship with me, came to me and he said, hey, you know what, I, uh, I thought I was going to be replaced, but it seems that I am not. And I wanted to say, hey, 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 it's not the end of the transfer window yet but I appreciate the praise and we're going to be good with that we get an offer back from Byron and you know what they're cool to allow Emre Khan to come to us on loan with an option to buy him for 1,054,000 at the end of the transfer window now the value is only 950,000 right now but odds are that value is going to go up and if that value goes up then I'll definitely be getting a steal being able to get him for only a million coins and Lo and behold, we're going to need to put him into this first match just because we have so many players that are low on fitness. His first taste of English football is going to be against Manchester City. So hoping for big things from, I guess he's still a Bayern Munich man at this point, but as many of you guys know, I'm a huge Bayern supporter. It's going to be really hard for me to let him go back to Bayern at the end of this. And so odds are I'm going to want to keep him at the club. Really terrible start against Manchester City. I told the boys we can't hang our heads over this. We've got to keep on pushing and the result may very well come. But it's Manchester City up 1-0. We managed to steal it back here in the 13th minute and we are playing on the counter. It's a 3v3 break and how about that for a pass over the top to Deco. Deco is going to take a brilliant first touch, second touch and rifle it by Joe Hart for the equalizer in the 15th minute. Exactly what we needed to do to get back into the match. Keep it close early and then try to steal that late winner. That was the game plan. That is what we were, you know, uh, trying to accomplish here. And 33rd minute, we're moving forward again. It's Benzia stepping inside and rifles a shot just low, and the shots were coming. We were getting opportunities to score goals, which is exactly, you know, what as, as a manager you love to see because you feel like the goal is coming, but when it's against Manchester City, you know that it's only going to take a second and you're going to be back down, but that would not be the case here. Moralia moving forward to Matt Phillips. Matt Phillips is going to step back inside, and that's a foul, referee. That is a foul, but we're going to take this quickly because I am garbage at scoring uh, free kicks and just didn't even decide to take it. Emre Khan finds a wide open Deco who slots it away with his left foot and 39th minute we have our lead and it would be it would seem that the bus needed to be parked and that we would need to play some pretty epic defense in order to keep this result because uh, Manchester City is as many of you guys know on FIFA an incredibly incredibly strong side Blackpool 2 Manchester City 1 at the break a very undeserved goal from Milner, but they hadn't created loads of chances beyond that. So I was kind of shocked and I was feeling pretty darn confident. We're playing Alex Bapt er, Baptista at left back this time because both, I really, one, I really don't like Craney and I think he's uh, constantly out of position. He's slow and Moralia stepping inside, knocks it in. That's a great one two sequence right there. And Moralia's just turned out to be everything that we might have hoped for. When we paid 300,000 coins for him, he can play anywhere in the midfield well. He's default set as a CDM, but it doesn't matter. We play him. I've been playing him more and more frequently at the CM spot just because Emre Khan now has been able to step into the lineup and do some good things for us. We're on the break again. Matt Phillips and oh wow, Grandin, how have we missed that? It is the transfer window and you could be gone because of something like that. But it's 3-1 to one final score and that is a fantastic, fantastic result in the Capital One Cup. And we've got players that have sold on Delafeu has uh, now, you know, is accepted our offer, but Barisha is officially gone now to Celtic, and that kind of broke my little managerial heart because he's been so good for us, but I had to think of it as, you know, this is business. You bought him for 500,000 coins, and you sold him for 7.5 million coins, or 7.5 million pounds, pardon me, but that's a fantastic bit of business over just a few months. You're bringing in Delafeu, or, uh, and 
pardon me if I'm mispronouncing that, but I, that's what I believe it is. And he's coming on to join the club. He's a fantastic youngster. At least he looks to be it. He's very pacey, clever winger, four-star skills, four-star weak foot. So now if we ever get any contract issues with uh, either Matt Phillips or Tom Ince, we'll be okay. Um, we've got Deku, a revelation according to the press. And, press and you know, it said... The press is saying that uh, questions are asked about Barisha. He's been in incredible form, and uh, the Celtic boss says that it was a steal for that, that adding him to the team for $7.5 million. And Barisha said, I was really enjoying my football at Blackpool. Japes is a great manager to play for, and it was a bit of a surprise to hear he wanted me to leave. He wanted to say, however, I understand that it has to do what's best for the team. And uh, it wasn't by any means an easy decision, is what I said. And it wasn't indeed. There's Delafeu coming in. An estimated fee of 870000 Remember, that was 20000 plus Noguera, who must be valued somewhere at about 850000 er, pounds. Uh, but that's still a steal. When his value, they say his value is $2.2 million, we'd be able to turn him around right now and probably sell him for uh, 2.53 if we wanted to. But probably going to hold on to him for a little while because he looks like he's got the potential that we are looking for. We're still trying to get Adrian, and now that we've got uh, some extra cash, we're going to bump up the offer a little bit, and it is time to really, really step up our progress. We're also going to send the scout out, finally, and uh, any guesses where we'll send him? Yeah, we're going to send him to Germany, and we're looking for anything right now. Uh, I couldn't help him. I couldn't help myself but send him to Germany. It's just one of those things for me. There's not enough German influence. We've got Emre Khan now, but... Uh, there's, we'll probably try to get a little bit more in. I inquired about Gary Gardner, and I inquired about Juan Manuel Aturbe, and those two are just fantastic youngsters. Gardner would fit in very, very well, as he could play our LCM, RCM, or even our CDM spot if we needed. They want 1.6 for him, and I didn't really want to pay 1.6 for him, and that's, uh, maybe that's a little bit low-balling of me, but we're going to offer them a million, hope for the best. See if that's something they might be interested in. And as far as the Turbe, I saw the 7.5 million, and I was just like, you got to be kidding me. There's no way that I'm going to be able to afford that or pay for that. These are some of the other inquiries we had. Felipe Anderson, Moritz Leitner from Borussia Dortmund, 6 mil. Probably not going to happen. Juan Fernando Quintero, also not going to happen. Inquired about a goalkeeper after the talks with, uh, with Jilks were kind of, that kind of annoyed me. And so Jesse Rodriguez. We're going to offer them a million as well and hope for the best. Hope it's another Delafeu. Just adding depth and youth to our side. Uh, Thomas Callis is one of those... I want him as a center back so, so badly. He looks so strong and so good to me. And only at only 19, with the pace and the other defensive abilities that he has, he's something that I, someone I really would like to add to the squad. I see people put in, you know, go out and get Kurt Zuma, but Callis is the one that I've got my heart set on. He was uh, unable to move because he just moved to Vitesse at the beginning of the year. So now we're able to possibly go out and go after him. We get an offer in for Matt Phillips from Fulham and I'm never going to flat out reject an offer, especially with Delafeu having been signed out. We're going to just counter with $5 million, and uh, if they take $5 million, that's fantastic. We can do a ton with that. If they don't, I'll get over it, and we'll move on forward. We get this offer from Elliot Grandin from Middlesbrough, and I'm going to be a pretty big stalwart here. Grandin does play on our side. He's a rotational player, so I'd like a little bit more for him to uh, hopefully keep things good. We get an offer in from Romania to go coach there, and I'm going to stall just like I do with every other offer and see if there's something that looks really really tasty that comes in also uh, briefly I wanted to apologize for not uploading the past two days just got busy and distracted and stuff and I guess needed a step away from uh, from uploads for a minute but now rejuvenated and gladly uh, gladly gonna be back and commentating and I guess that happens with everybody you know you got to take a a personal day is what um, is what it would be called in the real world. You just say, "Hey, you know what? I need I need a break here. I'm gonna I'm gonna call in sick to work here." Though I guess I didn't call in sick properly to you guys. I will do that from now on on Twitter, or at least upload a vloggy type video for you all. Also, I uh, got asked a few times about the second channel. I'll leave the link in the description of that down below. For now, it's just got a name, and that name is Air Japes. Um, I think it's YouTube.com/AirJapes, and uh, I've got the original one. I know uh, it's not just an Air Japes FIFA. So. If you want to subscribe to that, you can go ahead and do that. I picked up Black Ops 2 yesterday, and that uh, that game is interesting. It's gonna take. It's got a little bit of a learning curve. But Delafeu starting in his first match, and that would have been a great way to kick things off. I believe we're playing Bristol City 
And uh, 18th minute, we're, uh, the ensuing corner kick, and it's Cathcart in there, nodding home a header. Something that I just don't see happening enough for us is getting goals from corner kicks. And I guess that's got to be a combination of I really have picked kind of pacier center backs over bigger center backs, and they just don't have the effect in the box that some of these other uh, larger guys might have. But that's a brilliant pass, pass into Bruna from Tom Ince, and Bruna cannot lift it over the goalkeeper's outstretched leg. It's Tom Ince, though, again, moving forward, and it's Dong Gu on the break, using his pace, plays in Delafeu, using his pace, a little former Barcelona B connection. Delafeu is in, and that is unlucky. Banks another very, very close effort, and then a header, and the keeper saves it. So, uh, like what I'm seeing from him so far, Probably going to take a little bit of time to develop, and uh, once he gets in better form, he'll get you know he'll start performing a little bit better. He'll end up playing better with all the players around him. Unlucky, how about that for an effort from Tom Ince? Goes for a cheeky little chip shot to the far post, but we're only up one to nil right now. In the 87th minute, though, it's Dongu playing through Ince. And a little bit farther outside than we would have liked to see. But he's going to slip Dongu back in. And Dongu's going to take it inside and rifle a near post OP shot to give us a secured two goal victory. And Dongu's been performing so well. It's really become quite a toss up over do I want to start Benzia or do I want to start this little, uh, the young Cameroonian. And uh, it's, I'm going to just be playing the hot hand. I end up I end up playing both of them, I feel like, a lot now because they uh, I, whichever one performs is the one that's going to be playing. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching my career mode. I'll do my best to have a Pats Bauer out later today. Other than that, if you enjoyed it, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.